The chapter one map is finally back and everybody is loving it. It's brought back old players, it's excited current players, and it's brought in people who have never even touched the game before. Everyone is coming in to see what all the hype's about and I think I know why. But I also think Epic Games knew exactly what they were doing with this. For the last few years, Fortnite has really been lacking its magic feeling, and that's the best way I can describe it. The hype of each new season, the build-up, the excitement, it was all just sort of absent. Because chapters 3 and 4 sort of just felt like they were happening for the sake of happening. This gave the players the feeling that there was really no point in them caring about these seasons, and these characters, and this loot pool, and this map. Because Epic didn't really care about any of it either. It was like, okay guys, this chapter sucks, but the next one's gonna change the game forever, just trust me. And although I guess they're kinda saying the exact same thing now, I sorta just hope they're right. And part of me does believe that Chapter 5 will actually change things, because it sorta needs to. Evidently, from what's happened with Fortnite OG, the game needs a big change every once in a while, like a really big change, to keep people invested. I gather that's what Epic were trying to do by making their chapters occur once every year instead of once every two years, but that whole thing just sorta failed. Fortnite Chapter 4 was such a non-event that no one remembered that it sort of needed a send-off like Fortnite OG to survive. I guarantee you that if Chapter 4 had a normal Season 5 on the same map, almost nobody would play it. There really was just no reason to. And don't get me wrong, Season 4 was absolutely awesome, and all the different biomes coming in was really unique, and the map was actually super diverse in compared to other ones. But how many times can you say, oh my god, look in the sky, there's a city, or oh my god, look underground, there's an ancient jungle. It was getting really repetitive, and Fortnite OG, although it's old and it's what we know, it's also been very refreshing. And of course, I'm biased, it's gotten me a lot of views and subscribers from videos just like this one, so if you want me to keep it up and make more, I guess you just gotta subscribe as well. Ah. What a shame. Fortnite OG has not only been amazing for my bank account, but it's also set up the end of Chapter 4 perfectly. I fully believe that if this season never happened, the height for the Chapter 4 end event would be really low. Even with this season's release and it being super nostalgic, there's still a lot of worry that the next event will face a sort of similar fate to Fracture. If it did, and it failed miserably, and it wasn't hyped, that would have also really badly set up Chapter 5. So I think having Fortnite OG to sort of set this event up as something great, it almost saved it in a way, and made us all excited for the event rather than worried about how it might fail. Although a lot of people are still convinced that Chapter 5 has no chance at living up to the hype of Fortnite OG. They think everyone that's come back because of the nostalgia and the hype and the OG map, everyone is just gonna stop playing when Chapter 5 releases because it won't feel the same. But see, that's where I think that most of the people are actually totally wrong. Epic Games' plan for OG Fortnite is genius, and bringing the people in now before Chapter 5 was actually a really smart move, rather than something that will apparently disappoint everyone. We've heard that Fortnite Chapter 5 is meant to take the game beyond its previous limits. I think this whole thing happening straight after Fortnite OG will actually show old players what the game has become. The Chapter 1 map itself might actually become an LTM, which maybe that's a good idea, maybe that isn't. But regardless, I think the audience that has come to the game this season will now be exposed to all the unique features Chapter 5 has to offer. This means the racing mode that is teased to be somewhat like Mario Kart and have special abilities. There's also talk of some music-based mode which sounds cool and sounds similar to the concerts we've gotten in-game before. So rather than captivating a fully new audience who are interested in things like LEGO and racing modes, I think Chapter 5's release will actually focus on the audience that has come to the game with this season, introducing the people who love the OG game to new concepts. Things that will absolutely blow the their mind away after hopefully a good live event and an awesome chapter launch. And if Fortnite can nail this, it will be absolutely amazing. I think there's one certain man that can do it all for Epic Games, and he is none other than Donald Mustard's replacement, Charlie Wen. If there's anyone that knows how to capture an audience, it's this man. Meet the designer of Kratos, he's been involved in a ton of different Marvel movies like Loki and Thor, and he knows how to tell an amazing story that captures a broad audience from all different ages and cultures, and even interests like most people enjoy the Marvel movies, and I think most people will enjoy what Charlie Wen puts out into Fortnite. Whether it's into Fortnite Battle Royale, or Creative Mode, or Open World, or the Del Mar Racing Game Mode, or the Music Festival, Charlie has such a wide range
range of opportunities to mess around with in the new Fortnite chapter, and such a large audience to present it to to show what he can do. So I believe that on paper this plan is absolutely genius. If it works out and it's actually effective in a practical sense, that will be amazing too. But I really think Epic's plan for OG Fortnite is truly genius.